Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons, Bart and the Beanstalk. In the last video, we made our way into the castle, and when this level started, before the end of the last video, I had to dodge a sewing needle that was falling downward. So, in case you forgot about that, I'm reminding you again. Anyway, we need to go ahead and start moving. Also, this is post-commentary, because... My computer decided to turn on noise suppression on my microphone settings and not tell me after I upgraded to the newest version of Windows. Thanks, computer. So anyway, we kind of have to get that mouse to show up before we attack it. And there's the mouse trap up there. That thing that looks like a jumping board on the left side of it, that's the part you want to jump on. The sharp part to the right of it is the part you don't want to jump on. As a matter of fact, if you walk into it or touch it or move into it in any way, you will get hit. We also have thumbtacks. Those are spikes, obviously. Those do damage. And I do want to go down here. And I want to make sure I get behind the mouse before I attack it. That way it doesn't hurt me. Now, we're supposed to go to the left off of those candlesticks there. Off that candelabra. But we need to go to the right first because there will be some coins that we can easily miss as well as some balls to give us some slightly stronger and better shots. So let's get all that. Let's go back to the left and try not to run through the flames as we make our way across the candelabra. Those flames will hurt you. You definitely don't want them to, hit, to hurt you in any way. There was a sewing needle down there. And I avoided that, but I couldn't avoid falling. Thankfully, that was not instant death. I managed to land on something solid just in time. And, yeah, you definitely don't want to run into those flames. And thankfully, I managed to not land on the sharp part. There's another sewing needle. Let's make sure that doesn't hit us in any way. Now, we will be going back a little bit, almost. Actually, we won't, because if we drop down here, we'll get some temporary invincibility, some health, and a stick of dynamite. I will be more than happy to get all of that. I may use the dynamite just in case. Let's jump up these books, and we could go to the right. That's where we're supposed to go, but if we drop down here, we can backtrack a little bit, kind of, and also grab some coins as well as take out a rat and make everything a little easier. We have the temporarily invincibility, but sadly it isn't for long enough to get past this candelabra anyway. So now we need to backtrack. We need to ma make our way all the way back up to the books that we just jumped across in order to get to where we dropped down from, and we need to jump onto this platform. Want to be careful as we make our way across here. Ow. Well, that's one way to get over there. And let's get some health, because why not? I do check here one final time just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Thankfully, I'm not missing anything, which is good. Now, once we take care of this mouse, we have a fork in a row, but it's pretty easy where to go. If you go to the right from the lower path, you'll just find two rats. That's it. So what you want to do is you want to grab this egg for invincibility and then make your way to the right as much as you can before the invincibility runs out. As you can see, again, it never lasted for very long anyway. And we get plenty of coins and points, which is cool. And once we take care of this mouse and go to the right, we are done. We don't even have to fight a boss or anything. Kinda. Instead, we kind of have another stage immediately after this, where we are in the soup de jour that Giant Mars told us to avoid. You want to be very careful as you jump across. Some of the meatballs, I guess they're meatballs, will sink if you stand on them. They actually flicker if you keep them on screen long enough. And once you are down to about uh, ten, 9 or 10 coins, the Salt Shaker shows up, and the Salt Shaker and the Salt itself will both damage you. 
You also want to watch out for bubbles that will will explode because if bubbles start pulsating and then explode and you run into the explosion, the explosion will hit you. When you collect all the coins you need for this stage, you'll be able to go to the next stage. A couple w words of advice for the last stage we were just in. If you don't want to accidentally land on the platform, keep Bart's feet away from it. Because it is possible to land on an upper platform while jumping from a lower one, and then accidentally slip off the edge, fall into the soup, and instantly die. Also, for the meatballs that sink into the soup when you stand on them, you do not want to jump in place and hope that this meatball comes back before you fall into the soup or fall below the bottom of the screen because guess what? They're not going to come back in time. You want to jump to another meatball immediately. And that's basically it for all of the advice that I can basically give for that soup du jour stage. Just stay on the move. If a meatball sinks, jump to another meatball immediately. And if you don't want to jump, if you don't want to land on a platform accidentally, keep Bart's feet away from it. That's basically it. So we have more of the Giant's Castle to contend with, but that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we go through more of the Giant's Castle. And see if we can get that treasure and get it back to our family and be rich. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!